now in the process of demolition. It has a history that dates back to the early 1900s. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross with more on its past and what it meant for Chicago. Jeremy. And good afternoon. Memories of homemade donuts. Generations of Chicagoans buying their clothing here and, of course, special pictures with Santa Claus. That is what happened in the building behind me, of course, decades ago. But right now, you will see only destruction, a scorched interior of burnt brick and debris. But it is the business of that building so many will remember. In 1962, it was the largest store on Michigan Avenue. 1917, uh, Jim Gately purchased the store, and then this is a picture of James Gately, um, who was the founder, and then his son. The vintage pictures and keepsakes of Gately's People's Store are kept by Peg Kapustiak, volunteer at the South Suburban Genealogical and Historical Society. The black and white photos failed to capture the colorful offerings of a store that, for a time, did business ahead of its time. You could buy your week's groceries, and they had a dairy department and a meat department. You could buy storm windows, you could buy carpets, and you could have your fur coat cleaned. This was Walmart before Walmart. Right. They had free delivery from Hammond, Indiana, all the way to Kankakee, Illinois. They talk about Walmart having everything. Well, Gailey's had everything. Petals from Roseland columnist C.J. Martello once shopped there and writes about the nostalgia of the business, but also talks about its innovation. One of the things Gailey's was noted for was a center aisle with sales items. There were all these bins, bargain bins, they called them. One of the biggest draws, a multi-level garage that could accommodate 4,000 cars. And in the 1950s, the lure of air conditioning brought flocks of families to the business. At its height, the department store employed 700 full-time workers. That's more than Chicago's other iconic businesses, the current numbers employed by the Cubs and White Sox combined. A lot of stories of people who worked there part-time, you know, when they were in high school. Portrait photos taken there when I was a kid. My mother, um, she worked there during high school. And then there is this story during the Great Depression. Chicago school teachers were not able to be paid. They were essentially given out in IOU. Now, many businesses here would not accept that. The store once behind me did. Live in Roseland, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News.